Marine auxiliaries. Marine pumps. Centrifugal pumps are the most preferred pumping devices in the hydraulic world. In this video, we will have a conceptual overview of working of centrifugal pumps. At the heart of the system lies the impeller. It has got a series of curved vanes fit inside shroud plates. The impeller is always immersed in water. When the impeller is made to rotate, it makes the fluid surrounding it also rotate. This imparts centrifugal force to water particles. And, the water moves, radially out. Since, rotational mechanical energy is transferred to the fluid, at, discharge sides of impeller. Both pressure, and, kinetic energy of water, will, rise at suction side water is getting displaced. So, the negative pressure will be, induced at the eye. Such, low pressure helps in sucking freshwater stream, into the system again. And, this process, continues. This is the reason, why, priming is important for centrifugal pumps. If, no water is present, initially, the negative pressure, developed by the rotating air, at the eye of impeller will be, negligibly, small to suck fresh stream of water. Impeller is fitted inside a casing. So, the water moving out will be collected inside it and will move in the same direction of rotation of impeller to the discharge nozzle. Here, you can note one specialty of casing. It has got increasing area along the flow direction. Such increasing area will help in accommodating newly added water stream and will also help in reducing exit flow and velocity. Reduction in flow velocity will result in increase in static pressure, which is required to overcome resistance of pumping system. Here, you can see more details of vanes and inside impeller. They are backward curved vanes with state-of-the-art configuration. If pressure at suction side impeller goes below vapor pressure of water, a dangerous phenomenon could happen. Water will start to boil forming vapor bubbles and spoil impeller materials over time. This phenomenon is known as cavitation. More the suction head, lesser should be the pressure at the suction side to lift the water. This fact puts a limit to maximum suction head a pump can have careful pump selection is required to avoid the problem of cavitation. The current impeller type is enclosed, semi-open, and open impellers are also in use depending upon the application. If the working fluid is cloggy in nature, it is preferred to use open kind of impeller, but they are slightly less efficient. A shaft is used to connect between the impeller and motor. Since, water pressure inside casing is huge, a proper sealing arrangement is imperative in arresting water leakage, through, shaft casing clearance. Stuffing box. Oh. Mechanical seal, based mechanism is used for this purpose. Impeller is mounted on bearings, but, at the suction side of impeller, it is not advisable to fit a bearing, since, it will block the flow. So, bearings have to be fitted, at the other, end. This means, impeller is mounted like a cantilever for high flow rate pumps. A bearing housing with cooling oil is necessary for improving life of bearings.